Hey, Tyler Theater Design Company. So as you can see by the thumbnail, we're going to do a video today. Um, this is actually just going to be me more talking about this and trying to just educate customers. But it's going to be the Sonos port versus the Weem player. Uh, Sonos obviously been around a long time. Um, have some decent products. Uh, honestly, in my opinion, professional opinion as well, they're, they're more of a marketing company now. They're more like Bose. I mean, Bose was always a marketing company first then they made their product they have their outstanding highlights you know old uh 901s of course their noise canceling headphones from bose uh sonos you know same type of deal when they first started out they had the sonos connect uh that was a little white square box you know that was an awesome unit custom installers use it all the time it helped everybody out had a nice app uh nowadays however though and this is going to be a knock on sonos completely uh, because they're overpriced at 449 the Sonos port is uh, in my opinion it's overpriced by at least a few hundred dollars um, probably overpriced by three hundred dollars um, and what we're gonna do is just kind of compare a couple things um, the reason the Sonos port is out it was obviously to replace the Sonos connect it's to use for multi-room audio uh, they haven't even made the Sonos port work with the for example their arc soundbar you can't even use this as a, a device to run into the rear fill you have to buy their overpriced amp um, gonna gonna go over the unit real quick. It's same as the Ween player, so you know back to back. The only caveat here is actually setting them up. It's got the little setup button, and it's got the ultra hard to see reading here. So you have to read the little seven digit code off the back. I believe it's seven digit. I can't remember actually. And uh, super hard to see, so it's super hard to set up. We usually just take a picture of them, and we load it into the customer's app. Uh, one thing quick on their website, obviously the price four forty nine. But what you'll find is you can't find their specs. So who knows what this thing actually does. Uh, it does do high-res audio. So it does 24 at 192, um, which is great. So at least it do high-res audio. And, of course, a lot of the custom install companies, Control 4 and so on, have connections to work with this. Uh, but they're going to do the same thing with Weem here shortly if they haven't already. And uh, jumping into the Weem player. is So here's your Weem Pro and Pro Plus. I want to go over this real quick because I do want to be somewhat fair here. The Ween Pro is only 16 at 48, so it's definitely not a high-res output. Uh, but if you're not using any high-res audio like Tidal or uh, you know maybe Amazon or Apple Spatial or so on, then the Ween Pro might be your solution, and you can literally buy three Ween Pros, for example, for the price of one Sonos port. So that gives you an idea of just, just how overpriced the Sonos port is. But let's compare the Pro Plus. So the Pro Plus is 219 so you can buy two Pro Pluses, for the price of one Sonos port and have $10 left over for a couple coffees. So literally just crazy. They're the same footprint. They literally look almost identical. The outputs on the back are absolutely identical. And the Weem Pro, for example, same similar setup type app. I found it much easier to set up than a Sonos. Um, and again, I'm not 100% knocking Sonos. So if you're an existing Sonos customer and you have a Sonos ecosystem, such as an Arc, a Sub, maybe some of their overpriced amps, and some of that stuff, eh, maybe you want to go with that route. Um, but if you're starting a new home, building a new home, want some background music, the Ween Pro is definitely the way to go. Um, look at all the content it works with and so on. You got all this going here. And it has some additional features that Sonos doesn't have. So go in here, look at their EQ system. You want to fine tune your system a little bit. You got a 10 band EQ, that's just awesome. And does all the same stuff. Got the Alexa routines. Obviously, you can do that with Sonos and so on. So the main part of this video is uh, just really gets into pricing. So you know, pricing and features. There's no difference. So Sonos has their app. Weem doesn't really use an app. Weem uses how most of the customers I see use their system, including Sonos customers, where they're in their car, they've got it on AirPlay or Apple Play or CarPlay, or maybe they're using Bluetooth and they're using the Sonos Spotify. You know, Apple Music, Amazon app, and they're streaming that to their car. They get out of their home, and when they come in, they're not clicking on the Sonos app and going in there and using the ability of the Sonos app. They're clicking their same Pandora app, clicking the speaker that the Sonos shows up and playing it. So why not buy a Ween player and save yourself a ton of money? Um, as far as features go, I would say they're identical. I mean, for just off the top of my head here, look at the Ween Pro. There's all your features. You can't even find a sheet like this on Sonos. So who knows what Sonos actually does. Um, so overall, the reason for this video, just kind of going through, it's more of a rant, is uh, Sonos port, completely overpriced. Sonos amp, completely overpriced. I have a video coming out on the Sonos amp 
mainly for custom installers to try to educate them so they can quit selling a bunch of Sonos amps stacked up when you can buy even a Sonos port and a multi-channel amp and save the customers money. And now with the Ween Pro Plus, you can save them an absolute ton of money. So kind of jumping back through here, you know, here's your features. You get the Ween Pro. It has a basic DAC in it. You get the Pro Plus. It has a better DAC, in my opinion, than the Sonos port. It's got the same output functions. It's got the same footprint. It adds a 10-band EQ, and it works extremely well with all the third-party Alexa, all that. It, it works better with Alexa than a port does. So anyway, that's the reason for this video. Thanks for letting me rant a little bit. Um, if you're building a new home, maybe you're upgrading your system. Maybe you have old Sonos Connects, and you're still using Sonos, and you, they're making you buy the ports now because they're not you know, the end of life on those old Sonos Connects, the white ones. You know they die if they're five six seven years old they're no good anymore you have to update to the sonos 2 app and keep working your way through it so again thanks for letting me rant buy some ween players there's a link below on that and talk to you soon